Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, our alternate turkey timeline. In our last episode, we continued to work through some time, getting some uh, technology researched, units produced, and we're going to be doing the same thing for a little bit until you know, I think we're going to be ready to launch any sort of uh, offensive actions here. So let's just get things rolling here. A um, little bit of speed. Now, um, there's actually something I was thinking about uh, after last episode, doing a little bit of looking at things. And I actually want to go in here and remove all of these brigade strength increase technologies, at least for now. Because um, they are going to cost me a ton of manpower to reinforce the army up to those new strength levels, um, which I don't really want to spend at the moment. I think we already may have researched one of them. So it costs us 79.4 manpower to re uh, reinforce up. That's okay. Yeah, looks like we did. An infantry strength increase. Because um, I think it'd be better to actually get more divisions built rather than make the divisions stronger. At least for now. Once we have the divisions on the field we're going to be we're going to want to use then um, we can research increasing their strength. All right, now as we remember in the last episode, the you know, Great Britain is now occupied by Germany, but they are still at only 44.9% surrender uh, surrender progress. So we still have a lot more victory points they are going to need before we can knock the British out of the war. So pretty much a lot of the British colonial holdings are going to have to fall. Um, which is going to be very hard for us to participate in. Um, so we're going to have to just kind of let the Axis forces do that themselves. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to participate in the war against the Soviet Union. We're going to try and help Germany beat the Soviets. If we can knock the Soviets down, mopping up the rest of the Allies should be easier. All depends on what the United States starts doing. But we're just going to let things roll along here at pretty good speed. Um, we are getting the last upgrades built. Oh, I think um, I was looking through here again and I think I miscalculated a couple of things. I need to add a couple of more uh, armored supplies ports to the queue and then cycle all these guys back to the bottom to bring those arm and supports up to where they need to be We're going to shift a lot of these, uh, this stuff around at some point. So you need to get those armor divisions built. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to get in here... Okay, there's the first tank destroyed uh, regiment. Um, I'm going to let those build up a little bit. Again, not sure those are being worked on. Good they are. And uh, this tracks and suspension, good they are. That tank. Oh, the tank destroyer wasn't even in the queue. There we go. Oh, because it's 1942. That's right. We need to re queue up my 1942 tax. So that needs to go to the top. Industrial production needs to go to the top. 
uh, radios. That needs to go to the top. A national recruiting policy, balance sane. Uh, we'll put that in the queue. Artillery, barrel, and ammunition. That needs to get prioritized. A lot of this artillery tech needs to... get worked on. Our heavy A guns need to get worked on. Oh, we got these prototypes here. Oh, an arrow engine. Okay. Sweden is mobilizing. Okay, so we've got some more tank destroyers there. Uh, let's see. Anything else we want to prioritize for the moment? Now, all these guys have been pulled out of the queue. Oh, this stuff is important. All oh, this stuff is... It's just... Everything is important. Alright, well, let's just let it run. Uh, let's see how production going along. A couple more upgrades left. The 5th Tank Destroyer Regiment. He's built pretty quick. Let's just see. We so only have four of those there. Oh, the other thing we need to make sure is prioritized. Ah, uh, yes, this is is transports, troop ship flotillas. Yes, okay, that was being worked on. Um. That naval underway replenishment. Yes. Well, needs to be one. And basing. Needs to be two. Yeah, we're already losing... Well, we're not losing the manpower, but it's, it's being consumed to reinforce. I'm just going to leave a token force down here. These two cores should probably be enough, I hope, to just hold our southern front. So let's only just take this queue here, or core. Let's move that over there. And then we're going to concentrate all of our force against the Soviet Union. Alright, we got some tank destroyers. Alright, let's see. We want to start putting the tank destroyers into the first infantry core. There you are, right there. So, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth infantry divisions. Uh, let's see where. Are they? Oh, there they are. First. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Fifth. 
fifth, yes. Right, so we got a couple of tank destroyers there. How's our production looking? Only a couple of more of those left to finish. Technology running. Looks good. Bomber targeting focus. So, how are the Germans doing? They're doing okay. Italians. The Japanese are pushing into Burma a little bit, looks like. They haven't begun anything here in the Southeast Pacific. Oh, they are invading the Philippines a little bit, looks like. And they apparently took Hawaii. Wow. <laughs> United States kind of dropped the ball there, it looks like. Alright, we've got four tank destroyers queued up there. The next set are going to be going into the second infantry corps. So, I'll just move them to the front. We're gonna move this whole stack here. So, what I'm thinking is, instead of trying to push all the way out to here and create the whole front across this entire section here, and then trying to move the whole front north through this mountain range... Now I go on parliamentary issues. Um, what I'm going to do instead is try and push north along the coast of the Black Sea. Air superiority tactics. Until we get to this port, if it's unoccupied by the Germans by that point. And then, that'll get us past the mountains. A lot of fighting to do through the mountains anyway. And then try and get our tanks into these open plains. Um, and then push north to Stalingrad. So I'm hoping that the German front is going to be somewhere around here by the time we're doing that medicine advance. Medicine is to... there we go. Alright, so just waiting for... stuff to get done. I'm just gonna roll at high speed here. But this is going to be for a little bit. Airborne unit command and control. Alright, so they decided to give the Chinese territory to the Republic of China Nanjing. So they created this. They only kept the coastline.
Right, how many tank destroyers do we have? Now we have five. Alright, so let's go put these in. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Sixth. Oh, there's naval underway replenishment. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. And tenth. There we go. Okay, so... That's good. Take that out of the queue. And we're going to need... Two levels of transport ship hull. Alright, there we go, and then we'll put trans uh, transport ship hull in the queue, get that up to the top, because we need two levels of it. August 2nd, okay. Troop ship flotillas, means we can build passenger ships. Alright, so our army should be fully reinforced now, and our manpower should be rebuilding. Now, do we want to build some more passenger ships? Um, hmm. How much do they cost? Nine IC. No, I'm not going to worry about the passenger ships. We can currently carry 617 weight. Right, so now the second infantry division is up to full strength. How's production look? We need some armor and support regiments. Four of them. Uh, let's get these guys distributed out. You there, you there. Steel electro welding technology. And eh, we won't prioritize that. Basing is almost done. Pre war armor construction. Is that complete now? It is complete now. Basing advanced. Okay, so that means that marine activation, that they take over. That's going to be July 6th that we'll be able to get marines. Okay, good, because I actually want to build a uh, core's worth of marine divisions. Because the other option that we have, if we can get the marines, we can get some... Uh, what is it? Troop ships? A landing craft. And we can do an amphibious assault. Short barrel HE tank gun. Amphibious assault over here. And try and take this port. Um, and try and get around the mountains 
without having to fight through it at all would actually be very beneficial as well. Because then we could just leave a token defense force along the, the fortified front here once we get the fortifications built. Um, and then, you know, kind of end around them and do a run uh, to Stalingrad there. But we'll see how things shake out. Depends on when all the research gets done and when all of the production gets done for those units. They still have a lot of these brigade attachments to finish up. Though the heavy A's should be fairly quick. Don't have to figure out how we're going to prioritize these guys. I'm not sure the infrastructure is going to be that important right now. Medium velocity gun advance. Uh, let's see. Do they need to be reprioritized? Not. Actually, those two do. Bring those back up to the top. If the tracks and suspension are in there, yes. Alright, so we got some more tank destroyers building up. Those are going to go into the... third, fourth, and fifth infantries. Elastic defense. Pull that elastic defense out of the list. There we go. Let's run this at speed 5 for a little bit. The armored supports are finishing up. AV tracks and suspension. Tank destroyer advance. Okay. Uh, did that make any changes here? Yeah, yes, we got some new prototypes. Light armor, medium armor, heavy armor. And, oh, nope, tank destroyer. We're going to actually pull that out of the list. Uh, what we got here? Party rally. Okay, we'll do the party rally. Alright, I got a whole pile of TDs. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, 3rd Infantry. So 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. Uh, oh, 11th. Uh, 12th. 13th. 14th, 15th, and we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the 3rd infantry is done, we can start putting these in the 4th infantry, so that's 16th through 20th, so that's 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Oh, looks like we're going to have to actually start diverting some leadership into officers. A little bit. Armor plate thickness. There we go. Blueprint stolen for political indoctrination. Interesting. Armor plate thickness is now ahead of schedule. Heavy A guns advance. Artillery barrel and ammunition. Okay. Artillery barrel and ammunition. Heavy A guns. 
Medium artillery brigades and artillery brigades. Rocket arty. Yes, rocket arty. Alright, let's take a look at my heavy AA now. And how does that compare for piercing attack? Heavy AA is now our best piercing attack. Very good. We've got a bunch of that in production right now. Fourth is finished. Single engine armament. That's over here. Small fuel tank, airframe, and air engine are what we need next for the next set of prototypes. Uh, oh, we got a whole bunch more of these guys built. Great war demonstration. I got a leader on the opposition spoke. I guess the oppressors of this country will never again accept during the last year. Lie behind the government and to support necessary measures designed to restore peace. Okay, so, 5th Infantry Division, more tank destroyers, 21st through 25th. Right, there they are. Tank destroyers. Tank destroyers. Tank destroyers. And the armored supports are going into the mountain core. But we only have four of them. at the moment. Okay, so we got one more armored support going into the mountain divisions. We have four more armored supports that will then be going to the 6th infantry and then we got an armored support going to storm division and an armored support going to the Axe Isis Division. Okay. Admiral Shear is lost. Alright, let's keep this thing rolling while we finish up that production. And actually, how does the how does infrastructure look? I think still a lot of it needs to be built. Yeah, it does. But I think it's probably less important than getting the units Uh, getting the units out. So, I'm going to shift my production around a little bit. We're going to slide the infrastructure to the bottom of the queue. Air engine research. And there we got the prototypes. 
Let's get those up to the top of the queue. Okay, there we go. Uh, the pillboxes. I'm going to slide those to the bottom as well. The aircraft. The fortresses, we'll slide those to the bottom. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll build the, the air forces. Once the air forces are built, then we'll get these divisions out. And then we're going to slide the pillboxes down. With the fortresses. Naval base, any aircraft guns. And what the... All that construction then happen next. Uh, is there an air base in there? No. Uh, fuselage aerodynamics. That was... That right there. Okay. Alright. Manpower is building up. What's this? Heavy AAs. We're going to let those build up a little bit. Wings, aerodynamics. Oh, the heavy AAs are all about to come off the production line here. There they go. Okay, so let me actually just hand those out. Heavy AA is going into the 7th Infantry. It is under here, 3rd Army Group, 3rd Army, 7th Infantry. 32nd, 33rd, okay. So we will start putting these guys. Starting with the 32nd, 33rd, Thirty-fourth. Thirty-fifth. Thirty-fifth. And thirty-sixth. Alright, then the two more heavy A are going into the... Uh, first and second cavalry. First cavalry division and the second cavalry division. Which is this guy right there. And then two. Going to the 30th and 31st infantry. 30th. and the 31st. Improved security units. Production. All right, so they're gonna still take a while. They, those armored supports do take a long time to build. But those are the last bits. Then we'll get these aircraft constructed. We'll get these other divisions built. How is the Marines coming along? Marines. July 7th. Okay. And we should hopefully have enough manpower in the queue, or in the pool, to then build, or at least queue up a uh, core's worth of Marines. Logistics strike tactics, bombing sites advance. Alright, and actually, look at the time, we're going to go ahead, we're going to end this episode here. Again, I mean, not a ton of action, just a lot of setup at the moment. But, you know, that's kind of the nature of what we're going to try here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.